Bill Michaels, Mike Clemens getting ready for the game. It's uh, early on. The Rams coming into town today to take on the uh, undefeated Green Bay Packers. And Mike, if you're going to go for some keys in this game, what are they? Well, the first thing is Tory Gurley, a uh, big draft pick for these guys, came out of Georgia with an ACL and just they unleashed him against the Cardinals last week in Arizona. 146 yards. What was interesting is he got those yards late in the game in the fourth quarter. But he's compared to Marshawn Lynch. Fast, big, tough guy to watch for. On defense, it's Aaron Donald, who some think now maybe should have been number one overall. An interior defensive lineman, 6'1", but just tremendous arm strength. And he's the leader of that group, along with Robert Quinn, the rest of that very good defensive front that the Packers offensive line has uh, got to keep their eye on today. So one sad note, and that is Sean Richardson, goes down with a neck injury for the Green Bay Packers. And we know he's already had one other injury to, uh, to this. So it doesn't look like his career is going to be long in Green Bay, unfortunately. No, Sean Richardson uh, suffered a, uh, was a, a walk-on, big guy, a hard-hitting. He's a little bit like Cam Chancellor in the back end there as a safety. With great special teams player, had this injury back in 2012 in a game against the Giants in special teams. We weren't sure if he was ever going to come back then. He did. He's, he's served as a utility guy, a backup guy. Plus, they paid $2 million for him in the offseason to retain him this year. After Wednesday's practice, where they were just in helmets and shorts, he had some soreness in his neck. Went through the tests. He's got a herniated disc again. It's going to need surgery. It's not only is the season over, it's possible his career is over. Okay. On defense, I want to talk about something that Don Capers talked about this week, and that is he revealed they have changed their philosophy. They're letting those defensive linemen like B.J. Raji, Dayton Jones, when he comes in that third down package, to go after the quarterback because they don't have to protect linebackers like A.J. Hawk and, and Brad, Brad Jones, Jones anymore. Yeah. You know, they can, they can uh, let... Clay Matthews, those other linebackers they have, uh, Nate Palmer, fend for themselves off of the offensive line. That's why they've had more pro productivity on the defensive line and stopping this running game. One more thing before we go, Aaron Rodgers has not thrown a pick at home since Moses was a baby. Uh, 2012. 540, I believe, uh, completed pass attempts uh, since then. And uh, that being said, I know Vegas is now putting a line out of whether or not they think Aaron Rodgers could throw a pick. Is this a defense? Is this a secondary capable of picking him off as long as it's not a drop? It's it's possible. You know, you've got wide receivers that are a little banged up. James Jones talking about a hamstring injury. Randall Cobb still got his sore shoulder. Ty Montgomery might be the healthiest of your starting wide receivers. The good news is the forecast here today, sunshine, I-74, a little bit windy. A little bit of wind. up to 20 miles an hour, but great conditions for Aaron Rodgers to like the Rams up downfield. And like uh, that camera that goes overhead and takes the shots all over the place on the field, then we'll, we'll do this as well. Have a good day, everybody.